Hi, this is Elliot from Little Plum People, and we interviewed Lo. That this is a very special interview. I'm so happy that they did this. Um, and they sound my favorite record. I'm so happy they did that too. And now I'm gonna put on my favorite song. Have fun watching the interview. music until the end of time. Do you think you'll be able to play shows in heaven someday? Well, it won't be heaven for me if we don't have music. <laughs> I would hope so. Oh, I don't know what else. What else are we going to do? Make furniture? Make furniture in heaven? I don't know. <laughs> we have our, we'll have our wings then, so we can fly around, I guess. We fly to shows. Wouldn't have to fly in planes or drive vans. That would be good. I think you guys are, might be angels in disguise. Would you agree? Um. <laughs> I think uh, I think everybody is, aren't they? Mm. Maybe. I don't know. I think we can we can be good. I don't know for angels. <laughs> 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 Can you tell me what your song So Blue is about? I guess that's my song, isn't it? Um, I think that song is kind of just about, you know, our life, me and Alan, together. And, um, it, hints on, it hints at being in a band and doing what we're doing and just being together for a long time. We've been together for a long time and you know it's kind of been a roller coaster and it's kind of just about that. Where do you think you would be without music in your life? Well it's really hard to say. I, we've been pretty lucky. I mean I really love music and it's something that really drives me and sort of occupies a lot of my thinking and, and mm -hmm. sort of what I love the most about the world and so I've been pretty lucky to do it and I don't know once you've been given the opportunity to <coughs> do that for a living or do it do it as much as you would want to it, it really can encompass everything and it feels like you could never live without it I don't know I mean I like chopping wood and growing, growing my garden and stuff like that. I suppose I'd probably do that, but uh, well, I don't know. I, I would be a different person for sure. I would. I think I would like to. If I wasn't doing this, I would maybe be building furniture, like designing furniture or something like that. That kind of has always been something I'm interested in. Have you started working on a new album yet? Yeah, we've been writing some songs and uh, playing them live, and trying them out, see what happens. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to work on that sometime this winter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. If you could fly, what, where is the first place you would fly to? away from an airport. <laughs> <laughs> if I could fly, like if I had wings, that type of fly, oh man. I just straight up, straight up into the sky, I imagine. Wouldn't that be great? Fly over the cities. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I would just go up a few feet and and then get scared and come back down. <laughs> Once I saw a few things, I suppose. Get used to it. Do your children think you're cool parents? 
I don't know. I think because they, uh... <laughs> they don't tell us because they're too cool. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I think, I think when they were your age, like Cyrus, our 10 year old, I think he thinks we're mm. kind of cool. Hollis does too, but she's 14, 14 and a girl and she's, you know, 14 and a girl, but I still, it's hard to say. I think they um, think it's, I think they, um, they like the fact that we're musicians and we have kind of an interesting job. We have interesting, an interesting job. If you were ever feeling sad, what would you do to feel better? like sad, melancholy um, music, maybe stuff that I listened to when I was a kid with my parents, like really old country. I listen to that and kind of wallow in that a bit, and for some reason it helps me feel better. What are your favorite songs to play live? Well, usually if we have some new songs that that we've been working on, we're usually pretty excited to play those because those ones seem kind of the most exciting and they sort of relate to you the most. But uh, I don't know, I have a, well, let's see. Have, some of my favorites are uh, a song called Murderer, and then uh, I like when Mim sings a song called Holy Ghost. I kind of agree with the new songs, playing the new songs because it's a little, you know, you're a little more on edge. You kind of have to think more. I joined the school uh, chorus this year. Any advice for me to on how to be a better singer? Well, your teacher will probably teach, tell you to take deep breaths and try to always be expanding your lungs. And they are kind of like a muscle. And the more you stretch them, the bigger they get and the stronger they'll get. And Kind of like training for the marathon. If you sing every day, you're gonna get stronger and stronger, and there's some pretty amazing things that you can do with your voice because it does get stronger, and you can <clears throat> sing a lot higher than you can now, and you can sing a lot lower than you can now if you just spend some time uh, doing it every day. And what else are they gonna tell you? I don't know, but I would say, you know, sometimes when you're singing in a choir setting, they want you to, you know, over pronounce. Sometimes you find yourself singing with, you know, with like a oval mouth, which is fine for that type of, you know, I guess it helped, you know, pronouncing the words and so people can understand. But if you're actually going to start singing, say, on your own or in a band or something, I would say, Find your own voice and just try not to be influenced by all the voices you hear on the radio because everybody's, I don't know, these days everybody's kind of singing in an affected way and I think it's much more beautiful if it's natural and it's your own voice. Okay guys, here's some fun questions. Okay. Heavy snow or sunshine? Sunshine. Sunshine. Bob Dylan or Suicidal Tendencies? Whoa. That's not fair, because they're both, he picks both. <laughs> you pick both and I'll pick none. <laughs> fair. That's fair. Right. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Traveling or staying at home? Oh boy, that's tough. Uh, to be honest, I, I, I love being at home, but it's mostly because that's where where the kids are. Yeah. I love traveling just so I can go home. Led Zeppelin or Radiohead? Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> There's some tough choices here. 
I'm going to go with Led Zeppelin only because Radiohead would probably rather I say Led Zeppelin. <laughs> but they would pick Led Zeppelin probably. Yeah. Being interviewed by a kid or an adult? Kid, well, this, uh, Yeah, this is pretty great. Yeah, this is definitely more comfortable. <laughs> Thank you guys so much uh, for this interview. I'm happy that you guys took your time for this and hope you have a great tour. Thank you very much, and it's been an honor to meet you. And uh, please, um, please take deep breaths and <laughs> find your own voice. Find your own voice. Okay. The sea.